So Mikey, what are we doing today? We are removing bees from a birdhouse. That's so cool, man. to work on without seeing it? Yeah, the viewers will see more than you. What? You got to turn a two hour job and a four hour job. I 
actually they're pretty nice right now. They're just uh, they're just active. All the bees are all shaken in. They gotta get their orientation back. It takes them a while to figure out where home is. So sometimes it's best to let it just sit for a little while. And then any honeycomb, um, some of it had brood on it. Not not much, but a little bit. Um, all the rest of it's honey and pollen in there. You got some a nice mix right here. It's more like pollen on the left and honey on the right. If we try and put that into the box, even even though this was pretty pretty rough, we probably should have rubber banded it and set it in. It's, it's good enough as it is, but um, if even if we had tried to transfer it into the box, the bees basically it makes such a sticky mess. It just makes it harder for them to settle. So typically with honey and pollen, it's best just to put the honey and pollen out into the bee yard. Let the bees clean it up gives the bees kind of an open feeding situation so that the uh, even this hive will get a little bit of a boost out of it. Bees always want to go back to where home is. For these bees, home was right on top of that post, right where that birdhouse was. So since we moved home, they've got to kind of figure everything out again. They got a little bit of confusion going on. going to leave it here but we just want to let it sit long enough for them to get their orientation back and this is the part where we get a thousand views because beekeeper drops box of bees on head Side now. Get your lid. Get your lid on it. 